Hey everyone, this is Tom Desmond, CEO of Apricot Law. I'm um, going to shoot a quick video here. Well, it might not be that quick. It might be about 15 minutes to uh, to talk about how to rank for a Houston car accident lawyer. Um, let's just go down the page quickly, and um, and and also this is an offer for a free website audit video. You'll see the the annotation pop up. You just click that link and. I'll go through your website and your competition and do an analysis, sort of like what I'm doing here today. So that's a free offer. Um, <clears throat> and let me get this out of the way. Sorry to uh, take up too much time about me, but this is just to prove that, you know, just so you know, you're not wasting your time by watching this video. This is Brooklyn Car Accident Lawyer, super competitive term. There's almost 3,000 people in Brooklyn. Here's our client in the number one spot, page authority of 36 with uh, 4,600 backlinks. Uh, and that's an internal page, and he's been up there for two years. So we can do that for you too. All right, here, this is how you do it in Houston. So here's the here's the phrase. These are at the top, but it says ad right there, so that turns a lot of people off. This is super important. You want to be ranked in the top three for maps, um, and there's a way to do that. I'll explain it later. And then here is the top three organically. This is the... This is the winner circle. This is where you want to be. It's where you get all the calls. Anywhere on, on page one is valuable, of course, but at the top three, you just get a significant increase in calls. So let's, um, let's talk about how that happens. This is organic ranking as opposed to uh, getting these ads over here. Organic, you get a better return on your investment. There are two main components to organic ranking. One is relevance and the other is authority. And relevance is everything that you do on your site. It makes your site relevant for that phrase, Houston Car Accident Lawyer. And if you can see here, you can see all these listings have this right in the, that exact phrase in the title because they're relevant for that phrase, Houston Car Accident Lawyer. Every one of them will have that phrase. Once you have that phrase and ideally 200 other phrases like our client has about 250 phrases he's in the number one spot for once you have your once your website is relevant for those phrases then you have to be more authoritative so that's the second element is authority and that comes from getting backlinks backlinks are your website's nutrition it's its power um, and we we use these two tools to analyze website nutrients and I'll go into these in a little more detail but that, that's, that's the overview of what the video is going to be about. I'll look at these competitors, and we'll, we'll check out their backlinks, and we'll look at their on-site. Um, and then you can, anytime you want, you can click to our website and order that free website audit video. And um, you know, I'll get the request immediately and start shooting it. And you'll get a video like this uh, in about 24 hours. So let's take a look at this website that is in the number two spot for that phrase. Why are they in the number two spot? I can show you. I have not looked at this site yet, but I'll show you. I'll tell you why. First of all, top to bottom, here it, they put that exact phrase in the page title, which you saw a second ago was pulled into the top 10 of Google. This is their page title on the, on the SERPs. That's search engine results pages. And when you click on it, it goes to that actual page, and this is their page title. Second elements, this is their... URL, they have that exact phrase in their URL. Another very important on-site component. Coming down the phrase, they have that, again, that exact phrase in their H1 tag. Now this is actually over-optimized because they put Houston personal injury lawyers in their H1 tag, which is um, not advisable. Just keep it very clean. Um, and then here's something they shouldn't, have, they shouldn't be doing. Putting that exact phrase in their content and bolding it, that's an old tactic uh, that Google doesn't really like anymore. They have a video. It looks like it's on YouTube, um, and it's, it's related uh, exactly to that phrase, Houston Car Accident Lawyer. So that's another element that, that helps this page uh, have high relevance scores because Google owns YouTube. It's another thing they like is when you use their platform and embed the videos. And then they have other H2 tags, which um, are relevant. We prefer to use longer article style H2 tags with synonyms. So you can rank for some of these other phrases, um, but they just chose to use shorter exact match H2 tags. 
Let's check this image. I'm going to pull it off. See if it's properly tagged. I'm going to pull it back on the screen so we can see the file name. And it just says car accident dash one. So that's under optimized. Um, it should be re because Google reads these little file names. So you want to make sure that all your file names are optimized. And coming down the page, looks like they have a um, couple internal links going to other related pages on their site. It would be better if they had bullet points pointing to other car accident related pages. This is just a link going to there. If you could see the, the lower left, it tells you where that link is headed. It's just going to their personal injury page. But you should have, because there's so many other good car accident related phrases that are commonly searched and you can get a ton of good traffic if you have those pages built and optimized on your site. And those pages also help your main page rank. So you put bullet points in your text and you link to those internal pages. And you set them up in what we call a silo. <clears throat> that's that would, The video would be a little too long to explain that, but that's how you set it up to have a very powerful funnel uh, within your site. And this is uh, an infographic, which I'm curious to see if they, let's see if they tagged it properly. Car and truck accidents. Infographic, onfographic, I even misspelled it. Um, it'd be better if they put this on a different website, like a Web 2.0 that they, that they own, and then embed it from there. That would be kind of a neat thing to do. And um, here is Houston Car Wreck Lawyer. This is not a good strategy. Now, I'm going to point this out because it's, it's worth mentioning it. So... I'll go back to that in a second. Here they have a couple of links going to their news section, which is probably set up with their blog and an RSS feed. And then here is, um, it looks like uh, their testimonials, which is a good idea, put testimonials. But look at this. They just created another page, car wreck instead of car accident. That's not such a great idea. And it, it's just built on their domain name. It's not in the personal injury folder. So Google just sees this extra page out there um, and thinks, oh, they obviously are trying to rank for rec. They're not really providing any more valuable information. They're just adding more keywords. So I would advise against that. Anyway, so that they do have the page set up properly. For the most part, I'd say it's 85% of the way there. And uh, they're ranking the number two spot, I think, or number three spot, which is great. Um, and so once you have your page set up properly with the elements that I ran down here quickly, then you're relevant for that phrase, Houston Car Accident Lawyer. The next step is to be more authoritative than the, let me see how many, how many other people, we'll click around here, one million uh, websites that have that same exact phrase. You have to be stronger than all of them. And you do that with backlinks. Now, a good analogy for backlinks is nutrition. When, If you have a good, healthy backlinking profile, which is what we use these tools to analyze, your site will be very strong and very hard to outrank. How do you get backlinks? Well, you hire a company like mine, or like ours, to, uh, to handle that for you because it's time-consuming and expensive if you don't know how to do it. Um, but let's look at their backlinking profile to see exactly what kind of nutrition this website's getting. This is what we do when we take on a new client. We look at the, their, the, the client's competition, see what kind of power they get because your, the website's power comes from backlinks. We want to know how strong that website is so we can go out there and beat it. It's like imagine that you're the manager of a basketball team and you're going to go into a city and play that that basketball team of that city, you want to watch videos, you want to study the players, you want to use of the of the opponent. So you, when you go into that city, you know what to expect, you know what to do, you know how to you know defend against their offense, and you know how to penetrate the defense. That's what SEO is about. It's a contact sport, and these tools help us see under the hood. Why am I getting that ball spinning under the hood of the of the opponent? So what I'm seeing here is that your website is not that strong. Um, see, I put your, no, it's not yours. Um, I put this competitor's website link 
into, um, into the tool so I can see that they have 12 external backlinks coming from only seven referring domains. So that's, I mean, com let's compare it to what, we, what uh, our client has. 4,657 links going to that internal page. So it would be hard to outrank them in in Houston, not at all. It'd be very easy. And this tool doesn't find any links at all going to that internal page. Let's see what's happening to their homepage. Usually most SEO companies make the mistake of linking only to the homepage, which leaves some of those internal pages dangling out there and easy to outrank. Most of these links are going to the all these are all homepage links. Their best link is coming from demos. All right, so let me explain this. If you're still on board watching the video, this will be interesting. PA and DA, page authority. This is very important because just like diet, you're only as good as what you eat. You're um, you are what you eat. Uh, it's the same thing with links. A website is only as strong as the pages that link to it. And PA is page authority. That's the strength of that page. Let's take a look at it. So this firm has a link from this page. It's on here somewhere. And the authority of that page is 48. Now, that's a good number. If you, if you have a link from one of those pages with a page authority of 48, it's not bone crushing, but it's pretty good. Uh, you know, what, if you have a bunch of links in the teens, you're not going to scare anybody with that. But a 48 is good. However, that link is diluted. All of these other firms are sharing that nutrition. So it's really not that potent. Let's check out this one here. PA42, the National Trial Lawyers. Page not found. All right, so that link is going to fall off soon. Law Marketing. This looks like an article. Let's check it out. It's a PA32. Well, it's a long blog roll. And there's a lot of links, Terry Bryant, Arnold Itkin, a lot of these firms I'm familiar with. It looks probably, um, uh, it's a blog network. Um, but there's too many links on that page for that to be valuable. So already, and you can see that as you go down the page, the, the numbers get lower. This top competitor um, does not have a strong website, so it wouldn't be hard to come across and, and knock them out of the box. Let me show you. Whoops. This is what we have to offer. And you saw the numbers of the top competitor, 16 inbound links to their homepage. That's from 16 referring domains. And this is, this is our private network. I'm going to scroll down this quickly because it's not really something we should be showing everyone, but and the type is small, so I'm not that afraid that you're going to reverse engineer. But we own all these sites and control them exclusively, and we can send link juice to our clients whenever we want. This is a partial list. This is an old Excel spreadsheet, and it's probably close to 100 more. But there's two on just on this so far is 232 network sites that are authoritative, relevant to law, um, cared for and trusted by Google. And here's the local directory list that we work with to help you rank in maps. There's about 100 of these. Make sure you have a very clean and accurate profile. Here's a web 2.0. So you get links from all of these. Like I said, links are the, the nutrition. Um, here's a web 2.0. Now this is something I don't see in a lot of attorney backlinking profiles. And it's good for you because it's very powerful and people are not taking advantage of it. You can build a profile on all of these for free. And it's time consuming, but it's very powerful. Um, and once you build that profile, you own it forever. You brand it, you get a link from all these um, Web 2.0s. And the good thing about it is once you own the profile, it's another place for you to upload content. You can repurpose content from your blog. You can get syndication. It's really powerful. And there's so they're up to up to 400 possibilities for for referring domains. And here are the directories. You can see the top ones here that are paid. We make sure you're not getting you know, you don't overpay. 
And then the rest of these are highly relevant. Some are more powerful than others. And we make sure that you have a, a um, consistent profile on all of these so up to over 500 referring domains. So it's way more powerful than anything that you can see in your, um, that was in the number two spot. That's a number two website with 16 links. So imagine what can happen um, with the power that we have for you. Okay, um, you know, if you're interested in seeing a, a video like this about your website, meaning I could go right through your website page by page, point out your on-site SEO, talk about your backlinks. Feel free. It's totally free. Um, there's no strings. I'm not going to be a pain in the neck. Um, I may follow up to see how you like the video, but I'm not a salesperson, so don't worry about that. Um, it's all just straight truth about SEO, which may be rare in this industry. So um, feel free fill out the form and, uh, or give me a call. I'd love to chat. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.